Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. Today we're going to be unboxing the Flower Knight expansion for Kingdom Death Monster. This is coming as part of Wave 2 from the 1.5 Kingdom Death Monster Kickstarter. And this is a mature audience game designed in New York and made in China. And Adam Poots is the designer of the game. This is my fourth unboxing of this particular, uh, of these old expansions as they call them. They consider the fan base of Kingdom Death Monster considers these the old original expansions expansions and there are now a bunch more new expansions that came out as part of 1.5 so these are the old ones if you're wondering so the flower knight is a really really cool one uh this is one that i was really excited to get i've seen paintings i've seen people paint this miniature and it looks mind-blowingly nice uh, i'll never be able to get up to those types of standards but uh, uh the paint jobs that they put on this stuff is absolutely incredible uh, i'll give you a close-up of the box itself again it might not make much sense when you're seeing the actual icon uh but you know what at the end of the day um you know you can you can envision it because at this particular time i'm not going to have the miniature actually built and we'll need to do that in a future time frame uh more likely when i'm going to begin the playthrough so here is the Flower Knight icon. You'll see this on the cards as we go through the cards later in a few in a few minutes here. Again, mature audiences, and I've mentioned Adam Poots. So we're going to go ahead here and open this up. As I mentioned before, you may or may not want to dispose of these ones, uh, but, you know, it's up to you. So box is the same as always. Nothing fancy all the way around, so no point in spending too much time on that. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Now, one thing I know exactly that's inside of this thing, based on all my previous unboxings so far... Or this, these expansion boxes is packing peanuts there is a ton of them um, and they're littering my floor as we speak as I do these unboxings so see if I can add to the mess all right so first off what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this around so you can see it um, and without anything or any wrap on it there you go and that's about as much as you need to see there's the icon and then we're gonna go ahead with the uh, the sticker and there you go packing peanuts and then as per normal You've got a separate section, which I really, really like. And these boxes keeping all of the flat components very safe. So even though this packaging looks simplistic and technically cheap, it's really, really effective. It's really smart. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dump all these out. Oh, there's some cards that just came out. That's good. Love cards. It's kind of like a surprise when you pour this stuff out. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, we got a whole bunch of Flower Knight cards, as we've seen in other expansions. We got some. Uh, we got one sprue so far. I think that's it. I think that's it for the core components. And then, of course, we have a whole bunch of stuff in this compartment. We'll take a look at in a second. So, the very first thing we'll take a look at is the actual miniature sprue. So I'm going to take it out of the packaging for you guys, so you can actually get a better look at it. Because it would be no fun to see it through this plastic here of this bag. Now this guy is actually quite small and intricate. His pieces are quite uh, quite tiny. So, um, but very interesting. Very, and it, honestly, this is one of the more beautiful miniatures of all of them, to be honest. Um, got some really cool weapons as well. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to make that focus a little better, but there's some of the swords. There's the, uh, the armor kit. Stuff like that. So again, these pieces are all over the place. It's going to be hard for me to... Uh, that's always cool, too. There, Adam Poots actually puts his name within the sprues himself. But the quality of these things is incredible. So as you can see, we've got different swords, bows. So they're interchangeable. Of course, with this expansion, I think that the majority of this stuff will be used to build the Flower Knight and anything else involved with this expansion. But there may be leftovers afterwards. Uh, sometimes there are with this, especially with the core set of Kingdom of the Monster, was quite a bit left over. But you can see absolutely beautiful miniature production on this thing. Very, very cool. Super excited to put that together. And of course, at the bottom of the bag is the base. So the base, if you guys aren't familiar, comes in two pieces. Back of one side essentially says, I love poots. And then the other side, as long as it's got the textured size side up, and it sits in it just like this, and it kind of looks like uh, you got, you're mounting a statue, essentially. So, pretty cool. So, we'll put that back in. And I will end up putting those back into the box, just like this. And next up is the cards. Let's do the cards. I always love doing the cards. The cards always have some 
uh, exciting things here. Now, again, if you're you're adverse to spoilers and things like that, and you don't want to see any cards whatsoever. Just let just want to let you know, I'm not going to be sitting on these cards for a long time and showing you everything about them. So it's not like I'm going to spoil anything there. And then also, when we take out the book for the story, there's story events for all these expansions because this game is very very story driven. Um, I will not be going through those pages. So don't worry if you're just looking to see what comes in the expansion and you don't want to see spoilers. I will not be going down that road because I respect the game enough to uh, not be throwing all of its secrets in your face. So let's go ahead here and typically that's the way I, I actually respect all board games in that in that regard. Uh, there's a lot of games that I've had covered, and uh, Gloomhaven's even a good example. has legacy aspects that you're not, you know, if I was to open up every character in Gloomhaven and show you, I doubt I'd be making many friends that way. Um, so let's go ahead here, take this wrap off, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm hiding it from you. But I'm doing a terrible job of getting these cards unpacked. There we go. Okay, so some of these cards may be stuck together. I'll do my best to pull them apart as we go. So we got the Sleeping Virus Flower. We got a couple of those. Sometimes there's usually, it seems to be usually three of each, uh, but not always. Flower Knight Helm. And of course, uh, one thing that I noticed on these particular cards is, uh, well, these ones are actually rare gear cards. I wonder if these are all rare gear, because that's a there's a lot of cards in this little stack. No, there's not. Okay, so there's um, a Sense of Memory. Um, and then there's rare, okay, that makes more sense. Usually I've seen the rare gear about that number, but these are different. I've never seen the sense memories, I don't think, yet. So, let's go through these. So we've already gone through these three. Now we got the Flower Knight uh, Helm. Flower Knight Helm again, another one. The re so again, remember when we were going through the miniature, these are some of the items that we were seeing, like that sword, for instance, is right here. And that's what I really love about this game is that you can build your miniature to match what you are what you are carrying and what you're equip equipping, and I really think that's super super cool and something that's not done in a lot of miniature games. Where typically, you know, if you're if you have a gun in your hand and you get a better gun, although this game doesn't have guns that I'm aware of at all because it's just not in that same element. But I'm using Shadows of Brimstone in my mind as an example. Uh, you know, if you're a, you know a sheriff, you have a pistol in your hand, but you pick up a rifle, your sheriff's gonna have a pistol for the rest of the game on its miniature, whereas in Kingdom Death, you can build a character that actually has the exact weapon you have a gear card for, which is really cool. So anyway, there's a whole bunch more of these. There's the bows that we saw. And I don't know if there's anything else here. Yeah. Satchels. Okay. Interesting. That'll be good for carrying things. There's the arrows. I did see the arrows, and I wondered what they were. Uh, I thought they were arrows, but they are cellos. Nice. Flower Knight Batch. Cool. Okay, so those are the cards, the, the mini ones anyway. And then this massive deck right here is the deck that usually has all the resources, AI cards, all that good stuff. It's going to get added to game. Sometimes it has like fighting arts and innovations and good stuff like that. So this is usually a fun deck to go through. As I said men and mentioned before, I'll go through all the cards quickly. We're not going to stop and talk about any of them because I don't want to spoil anything. And there are AI cards in here, so that's another reason why I want to be careful. So... And of course, I may end up skipping a bunch because some of these cards may stick together. But I want to show you the art, really, uh, than anything else. So, pretty cool. The Worldly Luck, Flower Addiction, Ghastly Beauty, Flower Patches, Petals. Wow. Pretty cool. Diversion Tactics, Blade Kick, Salute. So many cards. This is like, and the thing that's crazy is that I am actually sleeping this game. You might be thinking that's obscene, but yes, I am sleeping this game. I want to keep this game protected, uh, but man, is there a lot of cards. Like, holy, there's so many to cover here. So uh, this is all grouped together. I'm going to have to pull that apart later. So some of these cards are in bunches, and I'm not going to bother ripping them apart here when I'm only using one finger to move it through. Uh, but I just want to give you a rough idea of some of the artwork here in the game, which is pretty cool. And then, of course... We get into some, I think these are like AI cards, so there's nothing, I think these are AI, I could be totally wrong. I'd have to flip them over to see, these are some of the things that they, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, the cards are just so nice, they're just so clean. Uh, I just, I really enjoy the layout of these cards, there's so many games out there that just have so much stuff all over the cards. And there's the banner that I was talking about earlier. So you can see that the emblem in the top left corner matches what you saw over here. So that's a good way of determining, you know, did a certain card come from a certain expansion? If you want to remove it or add it, that type of thing. There's a whole bunch of cards here that are all stuck together. They're not stuck together, but they're just like printed so closely that uh, I'd have to pull them apart individually. But hopefully I'm showing you enough. 
so you can get a good idea. Some of them, there's multiple of, of a number of them because I think those ones at the end were resources. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, so R, I think R stands for resources for the, for the expansions. Special hunt events we went through, got H cards, the hit location cards, AI cards. Again, they do a fantastic job of keeping things all. They do it by putting, oh, it's just so cool, I love it. I just love the look of this game. All the way around, the production quality is just off the charts. So that's going to wrap up the cards. Now let's take a look at what surprises are gonna come from this section in the back of the box, because who knows what's gonna be in here. Sometimes there's just a book, sometimes there's more than just a book. Well, this is actually quite heavy. Okay, so I think that's it. But when I say that's it, it looks like there's some other things hiding here. So we've got a whole bunch of tiles. Oh, that's right, because the showdown for this guy has four massive tiles that all interlock into this huge, really cool circular showdown. So that's really awesome. That's going to sit on the board game and look fantastic. So again, like I said, that's what these expansions are all about. They add a whole brand new bad boss into the world that's going to you're going to have to deal with. Um, again, as always, you're going to have your dividers. This is going to allow you to bring the small cards, the gear cards here, as well as um, the, I think I called the G cards before. They're called gear, by the way. It was just me slipping up my brain. And then behind it here, which you can't see in wrap, is uh, the divider for the main cards. So again, keeps things organized. Here is the booklet itself and the icon again. As normal, I'll show you the front page and then we'll probably stop right there. I don't think I'll go any further. Um, so, here is the Flower Knights page here. So, again, the Flower Knight, upgrade your core game, new campaign, custom. So, you got a custom campaign with this one. This is another reason why a lot of people like this one, because it gives you a brand new campaign called the Bloom People. So, some of these actually have a regular, a regular standard campaign that goes through Kingdom Death Monster, and then some of these expansions actually add a brand new campaign that you can only get by having the expansion. That's really, really cool. Um, again, without spoiling anything else, uh, there is one other page here I can show you, like a new rules page. So it's going to show you a bunch of things like the hunt board, parry, uh, forest gate, fairy ring. So these are all different things that are happening, knight expansions and tactics deck. I don't know if I can show you the next page or not. No. So once you go to the next page, you're opening up artwork into the story itself. So I'm not going to go any further than that. Um, that's going to encompass the majority of the pages here. So I'm going to skip showing any of that information. But that essentially wraps it up. You've now seen an overview of the Flower Knight expansion for Kingdom Death Monster. Hopefully this was informative, shows you what's inside the box. If you're interested in picking it up when it comes into stock in the Kingdom Death Monster store, then this is what you can expect to find inside the box. Thanks so much for your support, everyone. And as always, keep on rolling solo.